Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see how to fetch the categories and display it in our admin dashboard. So let's get started with it. So inside your admin folder, create a new file called category.php. Include the same layout. So the sidebar and the navbar and all. Inside my column MD12, just remove this and create a card card header inside the card header we'll keep categories and here we'll have the card body and in the card body we are going to have a table we'll just create a table with the class table and table bordered and inside the table we'll have t head and tr th we'll have the id the category name the image visibility status so i'll just call it status and one more the edit button okay we'll open the t body and in the t body create a table row and then table data okay so here i'll just add one dummy data and show you name will keep it as shoes so i'll just check this output so we'll just include this in our sidebar also so here you have your add category right just copy this and paste it over here say all categories and we will just change the href to category.php and now we'll just go and refresh here it is all categories so when i click i've got the category.php so here is our category and the table so now what we are going to do is just close this and here we will fetch the records from our database so i'll just put this in a h4 tag okay refresh Okay, now it looks good. And for this table, we'll just add one more class. Refresh. Okay, so now let us write the query to fetch the records. So here, after the T body, I'll just open PHP and close PHP. So here, we'll write our database query and then loop through the data. So instead of writing the query over here, we will write it in a separate file and include that file in this page. And then we will call that function over here so that the code can be reused in other pages as well. So first, we'll just close this and in my functions, my functions.php, we already have the redirect function. Create a function over here and name it as get all. Okay. And in this, we will pass the table name say dollar table and here we will write the query say dollar query is equal to say select star from the dollar table okay and here we'll just write the query run equal to my sqli query and pass the dollar con and your dollar query okay so this dollar con is in your dbcon.php file so i'll just import that over here include function so here within single quotes just go one step back and in your config i have dbcon.php so i have got my dollar con variable but inside this function this variable is going to throw an error that this variable is undefined so we have to declare that as a global variable global dollar con okay so it will not search this variable inside this function now let us get back to the category page so now we need to import that my functions.php on top of this page so it is already included in the admin middleware.php so you can just go over there in your middleware admin middleware you have already included that over here so you don't have to repeat it again so we can directly call that get all function which we just created over here get all 
and I'm going to assign it to a variable called dollar category is equal to get all function and I will pass my table name as categories and then I'm going to check if my SQLI num rows function of dollar category just copy this and paste is greater than zero else say echo no records found okay this will be a semicolon so if the number of rows of this dollar category is greater than zero then we have to loop through it so i'll just use a for each loop over here for each dollar category as dollar item so now inside this for each loop we are going to print this table row so over here just divide your php and paste over here just align this over here instead of this dummy data we will print our data from our database just remove this and php echo dollar item of id just copy and paste that same row and remove this three and here you have id and then the name and then you have the image right so this will be an image tag here we are going to give an img tag for the src so we are in this category.php right so one step above and then inside our uploads folder and then the file name say double dot slash uploads and your image name over here we'll just print the image name from our database copy and paste and remove this extra space and here just give your image field name okay and in the alt tag you can just print the product name okay and then you have the status so that thing we have it over here so this dollar item of status is going to print 0 or 1 so we just want to show if it is visible or hidden so we'll use a ternary operator over here so if it is equal to 0 just put this in a string equal to 0 then we will just print visible else we are going to print hidden okay and then you have the edit button so over here just say a dot btn and href will just put hash for now and the button will be edit and class let's say btn btn primary save and now let us just check our output so go to your browser and refresh so we've got an error over here let us check why so we'll go to our code and over here looks good let's go to get all function and here we are supposed to give return okay and now it should work perfect let's go and refresh okay so we have got it over here so we just set the height and width for the image in your image tag just say width is equal to 50 px height is equal to 50 px okay refresh it looks good so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to fetch our categories and display it in our admin dashboard so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you